get over to meteorologist Katie Sneagle with a look at our own forecast. And we've been talking as soon as we really got into that El Nino pattern of how much it would impact us with the split flow. We talk about it all the time because it has been a very strong El Nino. and We've seen that in how our weather has played out for this winter. We actually talk about this and I'll give you a reference to where to look for in the podcast that we record on Fridays, Thursdays or Fridays, but it always airs on Fridays and it's available and we're going to actually go into it a bit more in depth because we haven't had a full like El Nino podcast in a while. So we'll give you some updates, but I'll share that with you here as we go through your forecast to show you where it's at. Right now it's 41 with just a few clouds at the Willamette Valley Vineyard. We're seeing our temperatures start to make some changes. The overnight temperatures take a little longer to make that seasonal change into spring. You can stay, see we only change by a couple of degrees through January, February, and March. And then we finally start warming up actually on our overnight temperatures as we get into the later months. Our coldest temperature here this morning, Vancouver in the four low 40s, same thing Hillsborough. You can see a few places and then 30s and 20s. Really a big change where you are depending on you know if you have a bunch of trees if you're in a clearing if you're within buildings in an urban area that urban heat index definitely plays a role daytime temperatures those definitely you can see climb quicker and we are right there 51 that's our seasonal average high for this almost said December we're in February where have the months gone as we get through the middle of February, we start to see the changes in the sun angle and the strength and intensity giving us some opportunity to warm up a little more. Finally getting some warmer temperatures out of the 20s. We were rather chilly in the Dallas area and you can see how much colder it is this morning than yesterday. In fact, this has been pretty consistent for us today. For the month, we've only had one day that we have been able to make it uh, below average. All the rest, we have been on the warmer side and you'll see here that we have a couple of additional average days before we cool off going into the weekend and one of those days is today we range from the low 50s on this side of the cascades to some low 40s on the other here's where you can find that podcast we do talk about the second half of february and march what that looks like in relation to the el nino why mark took his snow tires off but he thinks maybe you might want to keep them on just to be safe and then one more quick look at your seven day forecast pretty mild heading through the middle of the month